Please welcome Ms. Pauline Silvana Bautista. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Isa siyang values educator and home <coughs> economist. Yes, daw po. Saan ba pwede si ma'am? Sige, kahit saan po ma'am? Where do you want to sit? Yes, Dito na po ma'am siguro. Yeah. Okay. There you go. At ang ating pong pag-uusapan ngayon ay actually very interesting dahil uh, ito ay about home economics, no? Actually, parang uh, nung panahon ko, marami pa talagang nagtuturo nitong home economics. But mm -hmm. now, parang balita ko, hindi na siya ganun masyadong tinuturo sa mga paaralan. But before we talk about that po, no? Para dun sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, ma'am, ano ba talaga yung home economics and uh, ano yung mga naka-enclose dito oh, sa subject na ito? Actually, tinuturo ang home economics mm -hmm. sa paaralan nasa curriculum ito ng DepEd. Mm -hmm. Ang tawag dito ay edukasyong pangtahanan at pangkabuhayan. Yes. So, ang kasama nitong subjects na to ay ang mga kailangang malaman ng isang tao para mabuhay ng mariwasa yes. at maginhawa. Kasama dito ang food and nutrition, mm -hmm. ang home management, family life and child development, yes. at saka entrepreneurship. Yes. Ang, ang tanong ko parati dito tungkol sa home economics, eh, usually when it, they mentioned, nung panahon namin, yes. pambabae lang yan. Mm -hmm. Kasi sa, sa, sa all boys schools, walang home economics. Eh. Kaya, kaya... Wala ka masyadong kung, idea dyan. Oh, walang idea. Ewan ko kung nagbago na yung, yung kaisipan ng mga boys schools na isama rin yung home economics. Dahil yung buhay naman sa kusina, ay hindi lamang pambabae. Correct. Oh. That's true. In fact, madami mga chefs ngayon yes. na lalaki. Yes. Actually, ang hindi nalalaman ng marami ay ang home economics ay isang filosofiya. Mm -hmm. More than a skill, it is actually a philosophy yes. mm -hmm. for using all the resources that are available in order to improve one's life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the goal. A healthy and happy life. Mm -hmm. Especially ngayong mga araw na to, no, na sa kabila ng napakalawak na kaalaman, sa ating daigdig at kayamanan mm -hmm. ay napakalubha din ng paghihirap ng tao. That's right. So, ang home economics ay isang filosofiya na hopefully, kung maituro ng mabuti, makakabuo ng kultura mm -hmm. ng prosperity consciousness. Mm -hmm. yes. Upang nakikita natin na lahat ng kailangan natin ay narito naman. Yes. Kailangan lang alam natin gamitin ng maigi. Yes. Ma'am, kasi if I'm not mistaken din kong, no, parang tinuturo ang home economics from first year to fourth year high school back nung panahon namin. But since magkakaroon tayo ng pagbabago, magiging K-12 na siya, saan na siya ituturo? Anong simula nga, antas na siya ituturo? Sinilip ko yung curriculum yes. bago ako naimbitahan dito yes. at nakita ko na nasa grade 4 ang to 6. Ah. Tapos na meron siyang 50 minutes a day sa grade 4 mm -hmm. to 6. Tapos meron siyang 3 hours a week okay. sa high school. Cool. Yeah. At nakita ko rin na merong mga streams no? mm -hmm. sa mga pangkabuhayang kaalaman na related sa home economics, kagaya mm -hmm. ng bakery, handicraft, production. Mm -hmm. Pero ang, ang importante kasi sa home economics no? na sa araw-araw ng pag-aaral ng bata, magagamit niya agad ang kaalaman sa kanyang kalusugan, uh -huh. yes. sa kanyang pakikitungo sa pamilya, at sa kanyang practical na pangangailangan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pero, uh, if I'm not mistaken muli, parang naalala ko tinuturo sa amin noon is yung pananahi, tapos sa pagluluto. And uh, again, this was when I was in first year to fourth year high school. And back then, medyo hirap ako. Hindi ba mas mahihirapan kung ilalagay siya sa grade 4 to 6? Kasi yun ang misconception tungkol sa home economics. Yeah. Eh. Ang nangyayari sa home economics, nagiging siyang cooking yes. and sewing class. Yes. You know, that's actually a misconception that was discussed as early as 1902. Mm -hmm. okay. In 1902, alam naman natin lahat na yun ang panahon ng Industrial Revolution. Yes. Ano? Mm -hmm. At ang naging epekto ng Industrial Revolution mm -hmm. ay nawala ang mga ina ng tahanan sa tahanan yes. at napunta sila sa mga pabrika. Mm -hmm. Ang naging effect nito ay ang mga bata hindi na susupervise ng maigi mm -hmm. at napuna ito ng mga guro sa public schools. No? Mm -hmm. Kaya ang ginawa nila noong 1902, nagkaroon ng conference um, at apat na disciplines ang nagsama-sama para dito sa conference kung paano ba ma-address sa paaralan ang mga nawala na nakaalaman dahil nawala ang mga ina ng tahanan sa bahay. Yes. So ito nga ang gaya ng sabi ko, food and nutrition. Mahalaga ang agham uh -huh. upang mapabuti ang ating kabuhayan at 
kalusugan. Mm. Number two, mahalaga ang values. Kahit mahirap ka, kung marunong kang maging matipid, masinop, malinis, mm. at mapaset, mapasensya, you can actually transcend that. Mm -hmm. Mahalaga din na maiintindihan mo ang kabuoan ng tao. At para dito, kumukuha tayo sa disiplina ng psikolohiya. Mm -hmm. At syempre, mahalaga na maganda ang nakikita natin sa araw-araw. Right. Kaya ang um, disiplina ng sining mm -hmm. ay mahalaga din. See? So, hindi siya pananahe at pagluluto. Yun kasi yung madalas talaga. Siya ay talaga. Oo, kaya nga nung naimbitahan ako dito ni, mm -hmm. ni Nang Riza, talagang pumayag ako agad kasi sabi ko, napakamalaking misconception yes. na ang home economics ay sewing at cooking dahil ito ay hindi lamang sewing at cooking. Ito ang pilosopiya ng paggamit ng resources upang mapabuti ang buhay ng tao. Yun ang philosophy. Yes, sure. In this time po na everything is so fast yes. and uh, modern, right. how, how are you as educator, how do you encourage uh, yung ating mga estudyante to be able to be interested or to be able to ho be hooked on to uh, this kind of subject in, in class? Actually, it's interesting that you use the word hook because that's yeah. actually a word used in understanding by design, which yeah. is something of 2010, 2011. Yes. Um, what we do is we actually give workshops to teachers mm -hmm. to help them to teach children how to deal with the speed at which knowledge mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. passed on. In fact, you can download our book. It's there. And mm -hmm. um, um, th there is a word that is key to that. No? And it, it was a word that was coined by Joey Ayala. It's mm -hmm. Salundiwa, mm -hmm. catching your thoughts very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. And Suri Diwa, learning how to survey what everyone else is thinking in a very fast way. So yeah. you're right, uh, speed is a very important element now. Mm -hmm. And it's not because children have short attention spans, it's because they can process so much yeah. more then than our generation so can process. Already, yeah. Exactly, yes. everything is so visual. In fact, when I was teaching in graduate school, I would tell the teachers that, you know, you have to be like a TV host. You have to have a storyboard because every second you have to address that rich mind that's capable of actually imbibing so much. Mm -hmm. So when I teach, I teach them how to make a storyboard for a 50-minute class. Yes. Pretty can, much like you guys. Can you mention that this home economics, it's not just about learning the skills but also values, no? So, how do you really help this values formation, particularly for the bata? Okay, so actually, home economics is values formation. Mm -hmm. And the skills are an effect of the process of learning the values. Mm -hmm. So, it's really process-oriented. It doesn't matter how good your project is, but what is important is that you know how to make that project mm -hmm. so that in real life, you will learn the habit of patience. You yeah. will learn craftsmanship. So, nakakatulong ang home economics sa mga bata kung ito ay maturo ng mabuti mm -hmm. ayon sa kanyang filosofiya. At nakakasama ito kung ang focus ay ang output. Mm -hmm. Dahil kagaya ng mga anak ko in school, no? minsan it's so tempting to actually let somebody else who knows better mm -hmm. to make the project. Ako, um, yes. Ayaw na ayaw ko yung craft. Uh -huh. kits yeah. na ginagamit sa home economics dahil walang naituturo ito sa bata. Yeah. Uh -oh. You know, creativity <laughs> is not yes. there. One of the things that I did when I was practice teaching um, yes. when I was in college in UP was yung, kunyari, yung pajama project. No, mm -hmm. We have to learn how to make, make the pajama, pajama, which is a very good skill. Yes. But how do you make that relevant to adolescents? Mm -hmm. So it's a good way for them to learn their own creativity. Kunyari, instead of using a kit na nandun na yung tela, nandun na yung sinulid, bigyan na lang natin sila ng puting tela, yes. itahi nila at pintahan nila. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's that creativity aspect that mm -hmm. is missing when we make kits. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Saka, I think also, parang it, uh, more importantly, it promotes yung uh, relationship, yung bond with the parents. Kasi at, at my time before, when I, when, I, when I was studying home economics nga, yung tinuruan kami mag, magtahin ng apron, magburda ng ano, and then there was a time na yung mommy ko was doing it also. Di parang, oh ma, I know how to do that. Kayang-kaya ko yung pwede ba katang tulungan. You know, yes. you said something very important and that home economics should really help to foster bonds mm -hmm. among family members. In fact, ang homework sa home economics dapat 
nakaka-build ng relations ng family members. Mm -hmm. So ako, ang pinaprescribe ko is when you give the children homework, it should be something that will help the parents convey their values to the children. Yes. Parang nagkakaroon tuloy tayo ng sistema mm -hmm. ng pag-transmit ng values. Because that is what home economics is. It's about transmitting the values that will enable human beings. Honestly, ako rin, I can say na yung mga natutunan ko, like yung basic sewing, uh, particularly yun, no? sobrang naging pakipakinabang siya sa akin. Kapakipakinabang siya sa akin. Kasi like sa mga simple na pananahe, kung hindi ko to tinake up before or hindi sa amin tinuro, hindi ako marunong. Kasi minsan talaga nagkakaroon tayo ng times na wala ka naman talaga mapagtatahian na isang bukas na patahian. But uh, because of the skills that I learned from home economics, oh, ano yun, yeah, lang, oh, oh, <laughs> na, nakatulong talaga siya. Hindi pa kayo po ba mama? <laughs> yeah, pero see, again, as I said, no, that's really not the point. Yeah, because uh, there might be places where you can't even buy thread. Yeah. Diba? Mm. So you have to think of an alternative way to teach the principle. Mm -hmm. And the principle that you want there is resourcefulness. Yes. It's industry. It's creativity. So it's not so much the materials, but it's the process. It's the experience. Yeah. Teachers really have yes. to be creative. Ang ngayon po ba, yung mga batang lalaki po ba pwede rin sa home economics? Kasi nung panahon namin, industrial arts kami. Iwala yung sa babae, sa kasi lalaki. Yun lang. Ah, ganun po ba? Ang alam ko, yeah, you were saying that. Kasi sa home economics yan, sa lalaki yan. In, well, where I grew up, sa UPIS, lahat ng ginagawa ng babae, ginagawa din ng lalaki. Lahat ng ginagawa ng lalaki, ginagawa din ng babae. So, ang mga lalaki nagtatahi din at ang mga babae nag-aalaga din ng aming mga pigs and goats. Yes. That was in the 1970s. That was a long time mm -hmm. ago. Um, ang home economics kasi is really not um, supposed to be divisive, meaning mm -hmm. hindi siya pang babae or pang lalaki. Pang tao siya eh. And whether you're male or female, you basically have the same needs. You need to eat, you need to have a healthy life, you need to have a good, happy home, right? Yes. Mm. Ayan. Yeah. Siguro, no, bago tayo magpaalam, Ma, mm -hmm. ma siguro last few words na lang po kung bakit mahalaga talaga na ipagpatuloy ang pagtuturo at mm -hmm. uh, pag, uh, tuto, pagkatuto naman ng mga bata sa home economics. Siguro ang last few words ko would be to remind the teachers no, na ang home economics ay isang filosofiya. At ang gusto natin ay mahubog ang bawat bata na mamuhay ng mariwasa at masagana. At ang gusto natin sa paaralan ay mabuo ang kultura ng pagkaalam kung paano magagamit ang mga limitasyon sa kapaligiran na talagang nangingiral ngayon upang ang bawat tao ay magkaroon ng magandang buhay.